Welcome to Fast Tip Friday. This is Amy Bowser Rollins with Litigation Support Guru. In today's tip, I want to show you an Excel macro that will export all of the comments in the Excel document to a Word document. So I have three files here. The first one is a macro enabled Excel spreadsheet. So the macro is already in there and um, we're going to, I'll show you how we can run it. The second file is just the spreadsheet without the macro and I'll show you how to add the macro to the spreadsheet. And then the third file is the actual VBA code that we're going to copy and paste. So first I'll show you what the macro does. We'll open the macro enabled. So the file extension is XLSM when it's macro enabled. And you'll see that there are four comments that I've added to the spreadsheet. So we're going to go to view macros, view macros. And the name of the macro is export comments to Word. Select the macro and then click run. And then you'll see that it opens a Word document and it references the, it gives you the cell reference, the author of the comment and what the comment is. So this can be really helpful if you just want a, I've had requests for this from attorneys before. Um, so it can be really helpful to just have all the commenting in a separate document. Okay, I'm going to close this and then I'm going to close the macro enabled version. So this is the spreadsheet without the macro and this is the VBA code that we need to copy and paste into the macro. So here's the spreadsheet. To get to the um, Visual Basic editor you, I have a shortcut up here, but you can see the shortcut is Alt F11. So hit Alt F11 and this dialog box will open. Um, and you're going to go to Insert, Module. And then in this space right here, we're going to copy and paste. And then uh, if you, let me close this, if you don't want to save the macro to the spreadsheet, you can just go ahead and run this and, um, and not save your spreadsheet, but at least you'll be able to run the macro. Um, but if you want to add this to your own spreadsheet, you have a spreadsheet that you want to do this to, you know, export the comments. Um, all you need to do is, um, we don't need to run it again because we know what it does, but once you, let me save, see how it gives you this message and says that if you want this to be a macro enabled file type, you actually need to choose that. So it says click no and then uh, choose macro enabled. So we'll click no. And then this option right here, Excel macro enabled workbook is what you want. So you would select that. So whatever spreadsheet you're adding this macro to, you can um, save as basically another version with the macro uh, in it. And then you would just click save and save it like I did. So we can close this. We can close this. And so um, you'll get all three of these files so you can um, use it however which way you want. Okay, I hope you can put this tip to good use.